Justin Kiefer. I'm the clinical veterinarian for the Department of Animal Sciences, and I'm here to talk to you about a physical exam you can perform on your cows. Uh, I can train any producer how to do a physical exam. Just have a few simple tools along with me, my thermometer, uh, my stethoscope, and a rectal sleeve. Um, and with that information and the things we know about cattle health, we can gather a lot of information on what's going wrong with the cow. Um, we've got a cow in the chute right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about simple uh, diagnostics Besides just looking at the cow walking around that we can do to gather information, does the cow have a fever? Um, what does her manure look like? Is her rumen moving? Does she have respiratory disease? What's her hydration status? Um, and those kind of things. So if we want to go up this way, we're going to walk around the, the head of the cow here. We've got her eyes, ears, ears are up pointed, she's alert, uh, ears are not down, indicating depression. She's visual, she can see me. Her eye set's really good. They're pushed out of her head quite a ways. Um, if the cow was dehydrated, the eyes would be sunken in quite a bit. That's also true for calves. She's got a nice wet nose. Um, typically cattle that are sick have a dry nose. It's the same as your dog. Uh, a wet, cold nose is a sign of a healthy dog and the same is true for a cow. Um, no nasal discharge. She's got some slobber coming out of her mouth. Bright and alert, that's what I want to see. We can also look at mucous membranes. One of the diseases we worry about in Ohio now increasingly is anaplasmosis. And one of the clinical signs with anaplasmosis is icterus or yellowing of the mucous membranes. Kind of hard to see on a black cow, but we can look at the cow's sclera of her eyes, the whites of her eyes. Um, if we also have whiter cattle uh, with less pigment, we can look around their eyes and their nose. Um, and on their, on their vulva underneath their tail, and that area is yellow, they can tell us that she's uh, losing blood from that particular disease. Um, in terms of respiratory disease from the front end of a cow, I'm going to see if there's a nasal discharge, both white and clear nasal discharge. If they're open mouth breathing or panting, cows should not be breathing out of their mouth, they should be breathing out of their nose. Um, so moving around to the side of the cow. Got a nice chute here so we can actually open up the sides. We'll talk about delivering medications. And also looking at the side of the cow in terms of her nutrition status. So not only are we looking at the head of the cow, we can also look at is this cow eating and has proper gut fill. Now we can probably tell that as the cow is walking around, she may look sucked up. Uh, there may be uh, some tense muscles in her abdomen. She's not eating, but this cow's got a lot of gut fill. We can also take a look at her rumen. The rumen is on the left side of the cow. That's the big 55 gallon fermentation vat where you're putting all that grain and feed. Um, and when you push on it on the left side, it should have a nice doughy fill to it. If I were to put my stethoscope on and you can get a stethoscope for your operation for a few dollars all the way up to a couple hundred dollars a piece. So there's a wide range of stethoscopes out there. If you put that on her side and listen to her rumen, it sounds like a thunderstorm as that rumen contracts. And it should do that every two or two to three times per minute in a healthy cow. So looking at fill is a great way to tell you is that cow eating, especially in pasture-based cows, we're now able to observe that kind of feeding behavior versus, let's say, a feedlot steer. I can also take my stethoscope and listen to the heart. The heart is farther up along into the chest than you might think in a cow. You actually have to push your stethoscope right behind the elbow of the cow. The normal heart rate in a cow is about 85 and you should have a regular rhythm. If we hear irregular rhythms like, let's say, tennis shoes in the dryer, we might think the cow has hardware disease or some other cardiac issue. Um, we can also listen to the lungs. We should hear very light breath sounds on the cow's lung field. If I don't hear any lung sounds at all, or if I hear crackles or wheezes, I'm going to be worried about respiratory disease. And then going towards the back end of the cow here, we can tell a lot that's going on with the back end of the cow by, number one, using our thermometer. The normal temperature of a cow is about 102 degrees. Uh, this cow, we're outside and we're August here. Um, and it would, she temped at 103, 103 and a half, I wouldn't be as worried, but if she temps at 105, 106, or even this time of year when it's cool out, um, and she's uh, one or two degrees above normal, I'm gonna be a little concerned as to why. Um, so we can take temperature. We can also look at vaginal discharge, okay? Is this cow aborting? Does she have a metritis or a uterine infection post-calving? So does she have a red, nasty, foul-smelling discharge? That cow will need some attention. Does she have placental? Um, hanging, a placenta hanging out of her vulva post calving. Those cows need attention and probably antimicrobial treatment. Um, also look at manure, and that's why I've got my rectal sleeve in my hand. Manure can tell you a lot about what's going on with the cow. A nutritionist will tell you, we really don't feed the cow, we feed the rumen bugs that are in her stomach. Okay, when those get disturbed by fever, fever and other uh, nutritional insults, manure changes. We have a typical 
cow patty, and we look to look, like to look and see for our cows that are on pasture, same as we'd see on a, on a dairy cow that's fed a TMR ration. But if I stick my arm in this cow, and she's got manure that looks like horse manure, very dry and rough, or she has severe diarrhea, that tells me we need to figure out why she's got that. Uh, one of the things that we would see diarrhea with is Yoni's disease. Um, and the, the first clinical manifestation of that in cows that you would observe is watery diarrhea that does not get better, that it worsens over time and causes the cow to lose weight. There's no treatment for that disease. So those are the kind of things we're going to look at for a basic physical exam for these cows.